so we're at the rest of the star fort that we did not go to and as we were looking down here we yeah. found a couple of things first off <laughs> there's this down here you can see the capstones on it are going sideways and there's a whole door but what we found really intriguing is that all these markings which are not carved in but are actually standing out on the wall and this is the kachina this is the blue and the red kachina this is a horseshoe magnet so electromagnetic and then another kachina and then there's a figure eight or an s of infinity so this is the only wall that we saw that have these symbols all over them and again they're not carved in they're standing on top of and there's all kinds of symbols on this wall there's a P there's a backwards P looks like a Q or something there's just this whole wall is covered in symbolism there's a V there's a V so and all of it again it's not um, carved in it's standing on top of you can see there standing on top of and I find it amazing that we just happened to stumble across this it's not like we were seeing this any other place only here and there's it's the whole wall look at this this is a depiction of the moon that we're in now the upside down Cheshire cat moon and it's there and it's there and then there's the V and it goes all the way up the entire building to a triangle so there's even a triangle up there and the triangle is like in the middle and I don't see another triangle it's almost like there's an entire language written on this wall so there's Arthur and more of this building structure okay so we just came from outside they're calling this the subterranean but we had to climb up the stairs and this is the door that we're seeing from the other side I'm not sure no no you think? The tunnel leads to the door. Yeah, I think the tunnel's leading to the door. What's that color? Kind of purple, isn't it? Okay, that's no, wow. not a book. It is actually a color. Yeah, look at this big, huge beam. So we're in the subterranean. Oh, that's okay. what they call it. It looks like a tunnel. Yeah. This is what they call a tunnel. We're going to walk over here. It's actually purple lights. Do you see this? Mm -hmm. Purple lights. Why did they choose that color? I don't know. But there's where we came from. And here's where we're walking down to. It's somewhere inside the store for the citadel. Yep, somewhere inside. Look at this. Look at this. This is a freaking fireplace. An old fireplace. That's what that looks like. Wow. I'm just going to walk down here. Hmm. Interesting. Wow, look at the walls. Behind, that's above. It's very interesting. The walls. Wow, look, some of it's missing. <laughs> yeah, it's been pretty damaged. You can just see the damage. Wow, and it just keeps going. 
That's interesting. Another way out through that door. We'll walk over here. I don't know if we're supposed to. Wow, it's a big mess in here. It's a corridor. It's quite the mess in here. Wow. Looks like they broke through the wall to get into there. Looks like the floors are pretty bad too. So they've got this over the floors. Hmm. So that was someone's drawing. Interesting. And what somebody did. Yep. That would be energy. The building of the rocks. Interesting. Wow, what is that? Mm-hmm. And it just keeps going and going and going. Look at the walls. Wow, that's interesting. Where's that one going? That one's going way down. Wow. Okay, that one just dives down. Look at that. And it looks very, very destroyed in here. Looks like it just keeps going down. That one's interesting. Very interesting. And it looks like we're almost at the end here. It's very interesting. Oh, and again, somebody's colored them with colored, colored lights. Let's see where these things go up. Oh, it just stops. So interesting. Oh, here we go. This is the door that they built the wall to. Okay, there it is. Oh, and this is the stairs that you can go out that I saw coming down. Aha, uh -huh. so it's opened. This is the stairs that I saw coming down. Look at this. And this is the door they built the wall through right here. Did you see over there? I walked over there and a couple of them. Look at this one. You check in the tunnels? I was wondering. Yes, I was filming in the tunnels. Look at this one. Gosh, it looks like it's pretty devastated in there. Don't drop it there. No, 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 no. Dropping anything. Let me go over here. Looks like there's an opening over there, too. You can almost see the opening through the wall. It's hard to see through the bars. Oh, it looks like it's open. You can see through the bars that there's openings. It looks pretty bad in here, doesn't it? Mm hmm. And this is where they built the wall through the doors. This was the original door. But look, they did, they built the wall right here, all the way up through, from the outside. Yes, interesting. I'm so surprised I guess, we ended up here. I am surprised we ended up here because I wasn't expecting to be here. All right, I guess that's it. So we just walked up from the side gate and we noticed that the rest of this citadel <laughs> which isn't even a part of it that they do not mention which is directly behind it looks like it's been hit with those weapons from up above and coming down and you can see where it's just gouged into the rock it's always the same diagonal angle Yep, it's always the same diagonal angle. So basically, you can see the flag over there on the top. That's where we were, and we just walked around, and there's this mosque thing here, and there's an, a more underground. This place, this star city was enormous. We keep finding uh, new areas just by walking around. We have to go see the, in the tunnel. We'll go look inside of the tunnel and see what's going on it's, there. It's not deep. No, it's not deep, but there it is again.
Yep. Wow, look at the hooks in here. What, for real? There's rebar stuck out. Look at that rebar just stuck out. Hmm, where does this go? Well, we have no idea where this goes, but we're looking anyway. Look, there was a gate here. Look at this. Here is an old... Everything previously we've been to already, but not here. Yep. Just look at the damage. Again. Wow. And there's the, the, parking, lot. the parking lot. So it's all here. So we were walking around trying to find what was on the other side and we found this area. We didn't even know this area was here. We walked into a little parking area where there's a little tiny park and it goes to another parking lot. And then we found this set of steps. So we're going to try to go up the steps and see if it leads over here on top of this. It's just a, a slope in the ramp. Yeah, we'll see where it goes. Almost at the, on the bridge. So we're at the top of the bridge, and that's where we came from, and we're just finding these walls everywhere in this star city. Cool view though. So going down the bridge, here's the back side of it. And there's Arthur. <laughs> so we don't know where this goes. We'll be on the wall on this side. Uh-huh. Total surprise. We'll find out where it goes. Oh, I can still see bits of the wall. Hey, there goes a lizard. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of lizards here. So here's what it says. There's a sign. Yeah, that's a walk of the heights of Belfort. It says the, the edges are dangerous. Oh. Don't, don't leave the, the, the path. path. Yeah. Don't leave the path. Stay on the path. <laughs> don't leave the path. <laughs> that's because we... We didn't invest in, uh, in fences and barriers. <laughs> yeah, basically. We are in the city center on the walls and that's what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, it's just weird. It's full of dirt and vegetation on the structure, not high up. So we've been walking on this unknown path and there's Arthur <laughs> and oh my gosh we didn't know how to get here and we just basically stumbled upon it. It's the other place we wanted to go. Uh, we could not for the life of us find how to get here and now we just stumbled on it. <laughs> oh, not, not really, we haven't tried to come here yet. No. We were debating about how to get there. We kept looking around and it's like, how, how do you get there? I personally was wondering, is it worth coming here? But, uh, well, looks like uh, we were led to come here. Yes, we were. And we'll, we'll see the other hill with the, the tower. Oh, look, there's a, somebody mowed the grass and put a picnic table. <laughs> okay, well, there it is. Wow. Okay, so we're almost at the fort. There's the fort. And we found this little thing here, observation little deck. observation deck. We're going to go across the observation deck. Ooh. Okay. Wow. Wow. How do we get down there? Look at this. So this is confirmation that we've been on the walls all this time. Yeah, we have been on the walls all this time. Wow. How do we get down there? Okay, I, I definitely have a fear of heights. I can feel it going down through my legs. Holy crap. I've noticed that I do have a fear of heights. It's just something that's uncontrollable. You okay. can see the, the other hill with yeah. the tower, which is also a wall. You can barely see the tower on the, uh, right above the trees. So There's a wall on the other side behind. Yep, there is. And this is so awesome. 
So this is still a part of that star fort. Or I should say Star City. Look at that. Wow. A bridge to go on that building that is the same height as the wall. Yep. <laughs> yep. Let's see what's over there. I'm gonna hand this off to you because you're taller than I am. There might not be anything here of interest. I have no idea. Yeah. Just trees. Top of the trees. We are at the top of the trees. And there's the wall. You can see the wall there. Wow, that thing is pretty far down. And then back to the finally make it to our last destination. Hmm. Is, that, is that a cave or something? I don't know. I have to get on the ground. Wow, what is that? Wow, how did we get down there? <laughs> oh my gosh, how did we get down there? Oof. So we're over here. We had to walk around. I don't know if we can get up to the building. But there it is, up on top. Well, we might be able to. This is all new to us. We've not been here before. Wow. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. And steps going down originally. Maybe we can go to the bottom of the walls. Go ahead. Oh yeah. And then oh, let's just look in here really quick. Yeah, it might be closed, but I'm gonna still take a look. That's too bad, it's closed. So basically it goes up and around. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> it's looking rough. Oh, we could almost make it in there. I wonder if they have this closed because it's not uh, kept up. And here's the walls. Hmm. Wondering if there's a way to get over there other than this entrance. It's a piece of it. It's hard to see up above because it's above. You have a, a rope with a hook. A rope with a hook, yeah. I need my Laura Croft gear. <laughs> <laughs> Even she doesn't do that. No, she doesn't. Okay, well, well let's, let's go in this direction. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> well, we'll see where this goes. Uh, help us restore the fort of justice. Give a donation. Mm-hmm. They need a lot of donations. Mm. Look how bad this place looks. There, it's interesting. Wow. It was something. And look at it. It's totally been melted. Look at that. Wow. You should see this. It's totally been melted. There's almost nothing left of it. Just walking on old structures. Oh, that's what I wanted. So it goes along the entire wall. And guess what I get? I get to walk along this path. I just asked, how do we get down here? And now we're getting down there. Wow, that is so awesome. These are melted walls. They're just so melted. Looks like it's a pretty much sheer drop on the other side, too. Oh, yeah. It's really high. It's really a straight drop down. Okay, I'm really excited about going down here. I'm like, yeah, I just need to find a way down there. Let's, let's find it. Wow, we have not been here before, so this is all new to us, too. And it looks like that bridge is right there. There's the bridge. There's the bridge. There's the bridge. Let's go find out where that opening was you called a cave. No. <laughs> okay. Let's see what kind of creature we have in there. We are not wearing proper shoes for this kind of a trek. We walked out of the house thinking we were just going to um, film a little bit. We had no idea we were going on a new adventure. <laughs> so here, let, wait a minute. Let's show our shoe choices. My sandals are yeah. okay. And Arthur's shoe, shoe choices. Oh my god. It's both my of bird. us. <laughs> Arthur does have burnt feet. Yes. Oh, wow, here it is. Oh, it doesn't go all the way in. It's not a cave. It's just a... Wow. Look at this. 
Okay. Just a big hole in the wall. I think I bumped up against stingy nettle. My hand is starting to hurt. Did you hear me, Arthur? I think I bumped up against stinging nettle. Wow, it's straight down. Look at this. Hey, it looks like there was fence and it fell over. Uh, layers and layers of walls. Wow, look at these walls. They're just devastated. You would think it was real rock, but we know this is walls. What's left of them? Well, we couldn't get back, so I guess we'll just walk some more. So we were walking down the whole trail here and realized that the wall started becoming the wall again. And it looks like it's just been, you can see where it's melted through the vegetation. And then the wall is the wall. And look how cool this looks. If I didn't know any better, it looks like we're in some place like Anchor Watt. <laughs> look at this. <laughs> Jungly. Jungly. With the vines. With the vines and all of this. Wow. There's some kind of a, a wall on the other side too. Yeah, and you can see where a part of it is melted on the bottom and then it goes up to the wall. So that's rather interesting too. So we're going to the end. Look at the melted wall also. That's quite a, a unique uh, trail. Wow. You're not kidding. Look at this. Corner, something interesting pops up. <laughs> yeah, wow. Can you walk up this thing? Are you trying to climb? I'm going to see if I can. I hope I'm not filming a live accident. <laughs> Arthur, some confidence for me. Oh, it's a trail. It's a trail they blocked off. Don't you think I need to find my footing? Okay, thank you. So we just got out to the bottom of that trail. We just came out of it. Wow, here we go again. With the wall being damaged. I wonder if it's visible or it's too dark. Yep. I'll, I'll go closer. Covering the sun, it's, make, it's doing it. Oh, good. So we're at one of the main side entrances, and we're gonna walk over there where they have a drawbridge. Okay, so we're going to the side entrance, which is, I guess, one of the main entrances too. So here's this. It's the only gate that is still intact that's left. Yeah, I think it is the only really fully intact gate that they're still using for driving cars through. Oh, yeah. Show, show that. <laughs> yeah, in the moat. Do you believe that? No, that moat is way too much dirt. Arthur made an observation. He said, do you think the mud came from the sky? And at this point, you would have to think so. No one's hauling all this mud on top of all of the features. It's ridiculous. So. Oh yeah, here's the moat. There's the moat under there. We're going out over here. So interesting. And this is so cool looking. Got the big old chains on it. Except that they won't be able to lift this because it's blacktop. <laughs> so it was made into a more permanent feature. And here's the doors. Here's on top with the wood. For everything to work. 
Looks like everything is um, pretty much boarded up. I don't think they do anything with this stuff. Yes, we are in the, the triangle portion. Yeah, we are in the triangle portion. That's right. There's somebody at the door. I would love to go look inside of there. It looks like it's just storage in there. It's the stairs going up. Yep. And so there's here. Let me just swing back around. That's what it looks like. There's still just mud and dirt and grass on top of everything. Even on the high walls. Even on the high walls, yeah. Wasn't that something? And we're going in here. They created a, a little park over there. There, there are trees on the walls. <laughs> Yes, there are. There are trees on the walls. So the main gate. Yep, there's that main gate. And show that arch that's, that's uh, filled up. Yeah, there's an arch over here that's completely filled up. Walk over here. You can see that arch on the wall. And yeah, it got filled in. We have all of this behind here. This is where we actually were. We were up here watching the uh, 14th of July fireworks for France. Yeah. So that was the first time we came here. It was on the what, 14th of July. Yep. And we I think were it was surprised. On the evening of the 13th. Yep, the evening of the 13th. Uh, and here we go again. Yeah. Another one of these. Another look at the chains. They have a Roman date on, on top. <laughs> Where's uh, the Roman date at? Above the. Oh, it was on the very top. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You have more mechanisms? More mechanisms. Look at how this is working. To draw that bridge up. I might have to get it from behind. I might have to walk forward to get it from behind. And there it is. And out into the town again. Look at these doors. Big, heavy wooden doors. Enormous. And there's the side of the starport. Interesting. We came from there, from the gate, and then when we were coming down, we noticed these arches. They're all filled in, of course. But wasn't that cool? And then there's a a bit of an entrance over here. It's with a Tower 27. Tower 27. And it is another tower. If we can see it <laughs> because of all the trees. And that's that the ramp with the, the arches led to the little park on top of the walls. Oh, yeah, there is a, a little park up there, definitely. So there's where this old piece just ends. So another part of the Star City that they put a road through, and as you can see, it's a really major road. So the Star City is wrapping around this entire city, inside and outside. We found this very interesting. The, the main gate that is still intact is behind us. Yep. Absolutely. And you can see the markings on the wall again going sideways. So we'll be walking up here. What a lot of traffic, huh? Mm -hmm. So when you look at the walls, you can see the previous star city underneath and then something built over top because it's perfectly set on top of. It seems to be the theme in this entire star city, building on top of older structures. And you can see it over here too. Mm, you can get up. Let's go up. Yes, let's go All up. Over here. Let's do that. So we're on another point of the Star City. And I'm going to just do a quick pan around. This is just one point in this huge Star City. So I am hope I'm not going too fast. There's just, a wall there's, this, this along this hill. Yep, there's a wall along this entire hill. And there's the point over here going out again. There's another point. So we're going to walk up here. And on 
and now right it's the second kill with another fort inside yep. the wall. This was an en enormous star city. I am just flabbergasted by the entire area that it covers. So this is the wall. This is literally, let's go over here, outside of the star city. And this is the wall. And it goes down. There's a beautiful uh, little lake, I guess you could yeah. call it. The views are spectacular. But here's this. See this? This is just enormous. This thing stretches for miles, this star city. In terms of the construction, it doesn't look like it was built at the same time. No, it looks like it was built in different uh, resets. There was an old star city, and then they reset and built the top of that, and then, of course, that started falling apart, and then they built on top of that. So it looks like it's multiple buildings for an entire area. Yeah. I have an amazing view of the citadel from here, but from this point it's hidden yeah. by the trees. Yeah, the citadel is hidden. You can't see that. So, this is just a single point on this entire star fort. And we've been walking the walls and it's just enormous. Entire star city. It's going to be the highest point. Yeah, I think this is one of the highest points. Ooh. Oh, it goes down. Okay, so we're at the fence, and it goes down. Hold it tight. <laughs> yeah, I'm holding the phone tight. Yeah, we didn't bring the GoPro today, so it's just amazing. We might walk down here. But heading to the lake, rather than uh, ended up in a detour. Yeah, we were heading to the lake and ended up in a detour. <laughs> so, we walked down to the back of this fort, Citad what is it called? It's not, a, it's a part of the citadel. Well, the point of interest is just about the tower, Tour de la Miotte. Okay, so this huge star city. There's Arthur. Say hi, Arthur. <laughs> so, we went here. And to our surprise, it's locked. You can't get in. Because we were going to walk inside of here. But look at this. There are arches just hanging in mid-air. And the burnt. Look how french fried and burnt this is. So you can see along the entire wall, it's just pieces that were burnt by the... Um, the base is different, clearly. Yeah, the Lichtenberg markings is what I keep thinking about. Look at that. Wow. So let's look inside of here. This goes down. This goes down here. You can't even see hardly. But yep. Yeah. And then the other side it goes down. So let's walk in here. You can see the old original. Look how big those blocks are. The old original is so different than the rest of it. This thing's been destroyed. There's a door up there. There's the ceiling. It's I think this has been built and rebuilt many times. Look, there was a door on this one, too. We'll go in here. I'll be cross with a bridge. Yep. So, oh, and there's beehives over there. Oh, I see the beehives. <laughs> Someone's doing beehives. So, yep. Are you walking over there? Yeah, let's walk up here. And, uh, wow, yes. look at this wall. Jeez, you can see where there was original, then they rebuilt from a reset, and then they rebuilt again from another reset. It's like in multiple stages, rebuilt, and rebuilt, facades also. and facades. But look at this. Look at this entire, uh, like something dug into it. Yeah, the part that's merged like that, it looks diagonal. Yeah, look at that gouge in there. And there's a rock here. I don't know what the rock is supposed to represent. I don't know, but you can definitely see there were doorways that were uh, filled in. The wall is just, here it is again. Look at these huge gouges, Arthur. There's a huge gouge here. It's the same diagonal orientation. And it's this, it's almost like weaponry if I didn't know any better. Like a weaponry, look at that. What's going to do that? 
Could it have come at this angle from the sky? It could have. It could have come from above and then shot down. I keep getting that it's um, electric. Of course, obviously, like rays, like death rays or something. Uh, just technology and frequency. Frequency. Well, you know, they have that stuff now where um, they have the rays that are attacking the cities. What do we call that? Where they just did Maui with that stuff? The dew weapons. Looks like a dew weapon. It's exactly what it looks like. Dew weapon hits. I guess that's what it does when it hits a rock. Another arch that's filled in. Yep. Because well, I it wouldn't fit the narrative with it being a fort if it's all open. That's it. It wouldn't fit the narrative. So, yep. You got holes in here. Yeah, look it's at this. It's like a red brick inside. Yeah, got holes in here. I don't know if it's the same over where you are, but here it's red in the hole. Really? Mm -hmm. It's just something. Yes, it is. It's like this got french fried and it was a red brick. You can kind of see that. Go out of the grass. So, interesting. We've had this technology since the beginning of this entire schematic of these dew weapons. They're just being utilized where we're realizing it because they've always been utilized and they're just explained away so let's go look what we found we came down the steps and the first thing we found was this <laughs> it's an entrance to go to the lake the tunnel to go down and at least to the to the lake the pond, the actually pond. let's let's go look at the lake really quick up yeah, here the pond the whole shit. oh yeah that's true I'm going to walk up here for a second. And, oh, you can't hardly see it. But I'll put some pictures in to show the pond. And there's the trail that we're going to be going on. And there's the wall. Just the tip of a star city. Yeah, I'm raising it. But we already have a view from higher. Oof, it's so hot here. Let's go down the tunnel a little bit. Yes, absolutely. So, we're going to the steps that have into been... The into the tunnel. yeah. So, it looks like they just cut out of the existing wall. Well, let me get this uh, camera to be adjusted. And then, look, they just cut to make this. And then they added in a little bit on top. But they definitely cut into this. Look, it's all melted, too. What? So this is so cool. You can see this. It's just cut, cut straight into the star fort. Just cut through. Interesting. It's kind of echoey in here. But you can see where the walls are still. You know, this had to have been absolutely scalar because look how deep this is melted inside of here. It's all melted. There's no wonder there's almost nothing left. There's our entrance. You can see where they just simply cut into the star fort wall. And this is where we come out. Let me turn around and here's some more of the wall. Just melted. There's the entrance going to the lake. You can see it's just the wall. Just cut straight through it. It's really thick. Well, you saw, we just walked through it. Here's the wall. And here's the tower. <laughs> Since we can't go into it. So let's walk out here and look at this. And then we're going to be on our way to the lake. But yeah, you can see the back side of the Star Fort wall. Basically the Star City wall. And then there's the... Look at the angles on this. This is beautiful. Oof. I have to get out of the sun. And then it's straight up. Look at that angle. How very cool. Rounded. Though. Rounded, yep. Yeah, it's rounded. Look at that. It's so cool. You can see the, the where the melting began and where the other is on top. It's like they 
just different resets and the refurbishing of I'm just going to walk down here really quick. Does this one go to the lake or does the other trail go to the no, lake? Not this way. No, I'm just going to walk to the edge of this. It's so interesting. Beautiful here too. In terms of size of the block, it's closer to the main structure. Oh yeah. So you can see it here where it's just... There's a whole layer on the outside. Yep. There's an entire layer, and you can also see where it's been refurbished. Refur you can just see the refurbishing, and adding on to what was already there. There's vegetation growing out of the, the melted part. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of vegetation growing. Even a tree is growing out of the melted part. How's that supposed to work? Okay, so on to the lake. 